Hello and welcome to the Scratch Coding class. So in today's video, we're going to be comparing Scratch with different programming languages. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. So you'll notice that I do sound a bit different and that's because now I'm recording with my phone instead of my old microphone. So hopefully the sound quality is a bit better. And in today's video, as I said earlier, we're going to be comparing Scratch with other programming languages out there and seeing if they're more complicated or easier than Scratch and or are they just completely different or are they relevant? And at the end, I'm going to give my advice of what you should do when you've been finished using Scratch. So we're going to start with Scratch versus Python. So in Scratch, we have this say block and it gets us right to say hello for um, uh, forever, basically. And in Python, what we do is we just print something on the screen because there isn't really sprites in Python unless you count Pygame, but that's different. Let's just say we're using normal Python. Then we just display something on the screen to print hello. Here's another example. So we got a variable and in Scratch, we just use the set block to assign a value to a variable. In Python, all we do is just type the variable equals whatever. And we have to define the variable first in Python. So if you create a variable on Scratch, which you would do by just clicking create new variable in Python, you just need to type your variable equals whatever to start off with. And then you can set it whatever you want in the program. And another example is with the if condition. So in Scratch, we have got if score is greater than 50, then and in Python, all we do is if score greater than 50, then a colon. And the next example is with loops. So we've got scratch, we got repeat 10 times, and then Python is a bit different. We use for I in range, and then we type in whatever number we want in brackets. And it doesn't have to be the letter I, it can be for J in range or whatever. And my final example is with the random block. So we got a pick random one to five in Scratch. And in Python, we just type randint and one comma five. And if you type this in Python by itself, it won't work. You need to import the random function first. So just be aware of that. So you notice that all these five examples, they're really quite similar. There's not much difference between Python and Scratch. Python is more used in websites, is more useful instead of just dragging blocks in. My, my next example is with the Lego Mindstorms EVP robot because yes, yeah, you, you don't have to program it using Scratch. Lego has actually made its own software for it. So it's called the Lego Mindstorms EV3 app. So let's see um, to three examples of this. So first we've got motors. So if we want to turn motor A a certain direction for one second and set the power in Lego Mindstorms EV3, we just use one whole block and we can do everything in that block. So we've got port A here, then we've got a port of 60, one second. So very similar. And the next example is with sound. So we just create notes on the piano in Scratch. We just do beep note, whatever, for a certain number of seconds. In the Lego Mindstorms EV3 app, it's quite similar. Each note you need its own block and you can just adjust everything in that. And the advantage to Lego Mindstorms EV3 is you can adjust the volume as well. So you can play some notes loud and some notes soft. So my final example is the stop all block on Scratch. And you can use that in control and just drag stop all to the end of a script. In the Lego Mindstorms EV3, it's very similar. You drag this block to the end of the script and it will just stop everything. And Scratch, when we do blocks, it moves from up to down. But in the Lego Mindstorms EV3 app, it moves from left to right. So in conclusion, there isn't honestly that much difference between Scratch and other different programming languages. So let's say you're finished with Scratch and you basically just mastered everything. And then my advice is just move on to another different programming languages. And I suggest and that you do Python because Python is quite uh, simple if you've already mastered Scratch and Maybe um, don't do HTML or something because they're just, I think they're just a bit too easy and you're going to find it quite boring. So Python is a great place to start and you can actually program the Lego Mindstorms EV3 robot with Python. So that is something to try, but you need the relevant um, software for it. So Python, you can do a basic course in it. You'll find it quite simple because Scratch it's very similar. Like if you're doing functions in Python, for example, we've already done that in Scratch with my blocks. So it's honestly not too much different. And there will be um, new um, coding terms um, learned in Python, like parameters, or um, if you want to do while loops and all that. So Python is a great place um, to start 
your coding journey um, from scratch. And maybe if you're finished Python, you can move on to Java or C++ or something, but I don't recommend just jumping straight in because they are one of the hardest languages. And most games are written in Python and most web pages are written in Python. So Python really handy to learn. And I just say, do not give up Scratch completely. Just um, say, I'm stopping Scratch. You don't do that because Scratch is very useful for if you're doing games or whatever, because Python, you have to get Pygame and all, it's just a bit harder. So still keep Scratch around. You don't have to use it as much. And this channel is still called the Scratch Coding Class. So we're not stopping. We're just going to continue with Scratch. If you want to check out Python, you're probably going to have to check out a different YouTube channel for that. But that is everything for today's video. So um, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.